Okay, so we've exported these four pages. I'm actually going to take them and uh, put them in their own file just so that they it's a little easier to see without all these other files. So I'm going to do Control X and just create a new folder. Let's see. New folder. And this new folder, and I'm just going to paste them in by Control V. Okay, so we have our story here, and let's refresh this so they're in order. Okay, one, two, three, four. And if I want to get these all into a single file, zip them all together, and then turn them into a, a CBZ file. And CBZ and CBR are both, they're just two different kind of archives. One is like converting a RAR file or a rare file into a CBR, and a, a CBZ is just a it used to be a zip file, so either one of those, most, most comic reading programs can open, and uh, you're welcome to turn into either one. I'm just going to do CBZ for this, and the way I do that is I select, I'm just going to press Control A, and that'll highlight everything, and once I have them all highlighted, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to do Send To. This may be slightly different on a Mac, but I think there will be some equivalency um, if you just look um, how to make a, a Mac zip file, I think you'll you'll find something very similar to this. But just go to Send to Compressed Zips Folder and click that. And it automatically creates the zip folder and it gives it the name of one of the files for some reason. I don't know why. I'm actually going to rename it and just call it, uh, I'm going to click and just call it Batch Story. And the only thing is, I'm going to get rid of this this uh, suffix at the end, the zip, and I'm going to retitle it to batchstory.cbz. And when I do that, it's going to tell me that, are you sure you want to do that? It's going to it might make it unusable, but no, I, I do want to do that. So I just click yes, and now it changed because I have a program on my computer that can open comics files, that can open CBZ files, so that now when I click on it, it will open it with that software. And I have a comic that I can read through and I can use this, uh, this, these tools that this software has. And there's also programs for, um, you know, apps for phones, for iPads, for other tablets and stuff that you can uh, find. If you just look for like a CBR or a comics reader in like any app store, there's going to be tons of them. And, um, some of them, are, a lot of them are free, and this one is just some free software. I don't even know the name, but uh, yeah, there's tons of them out there. Just just Google CBR Reader or CBZ Reader, and you have your file. That's how you make a CBZ file. I thought of something that may be a problem for some of you. Uh, I've, I've made a change, and you may notice now that there are no... Uh, the file extension is not here. It doesn't say JPEG, or this doesn't say CBZ anymore. And some, you may have your system configured to kind of hide that. So let me show you how you can do this if for some reason they're not showing up. I'm going to delete this and create this again. So let's say I wanted to zip these and I go control A. And I, again, I right click and just go send to compress the zip folder. And it creates it. But now how do I change the, uh, the extension? It's, it's a zip file, I know that, but how do I do that? So the way you need to do this is uh, you need to go to your control panel or wherever that's structured in your system. And in most windows, it's going to be under the control panel under appearance and personalization. Click there and go down to your folder options. Click there. And we're going to get several options in here. We want the view tab. Click on that. And we're going to go down to a, a box that says hide extensions for known file types. And right now that's checked and we want to uncheck that. When it's unchecked, we can click apply or OK. And uh, now when we go back to our folder, uh, we're going to see the file extensions are on there. And now we can just change it like we did before into a CBZ file. .cbz and yes and now it's a functional cbz file again the great thing about this is that now we can you know we can upload it to our website we can send it through an email we can 
uh, put it on a USB or, you know, it's, it's a format that's very accessible. We can turn it into a torrent. We can do all kinds of things with it that we can do with any other type of file. And it's, uh, it's kind of, we know it's a comics file and it'll function that way. So this is a really good way to make a comic.